Hi, I'm Sarah from Heirloom Creations. And how would you like to make flying geese and half square triangles turn out perfectly every single time and without having to do any math? You can do it all with the flying geese times four ruler. This is a ruler that I have had from the beginning of when I started quilting, fell in love with it. So much so, so I actually bought two of them. But I'm gonna show you today how simple this is and how when using this ruler, you always work with finished sizes. So you're never having to calculate whether it's a half inch or more, it's all super simple. Now the quilt behind me is like a sampler and a lot of sampler quilts are made up with half square triangles and flying geese. And how simple this will be when you actually use this ruler. Now remember, you're gonna end up with four every time you do the, this type of technique. So my first time I did it, I forgot to divide by four. I think I had a bigger flock of geese than I realized. So let's get to it and I'll show you how easy it is. Working with this ruler, the flying geese times four, you are gonna need a total of one big square and four smaller squares, all cut from one ruler. That's one thing I like. So first off, everything is measured in finished sizes. So two inch by four inch, or all the way up to three and a half by seven. And small, three quarters by one and a half. It's wonderful. All you need to do, this is gonna be my big square. So I'm gonna line up the F square along my fabric using a long ruler for cutting. I'm gonna line that up and just hug that and cut. Then all my squares can be cut from this. Now once again, don't forget your math of dividing by four because it doesn't take much for you to end up with more than you bargained for. So then I'm gonna just work along this strip, cutting, so lining it up against the solid line and cutting all my squares. Once again, for the smaller strips, I'm gonna find the F line. This time on the smaller side, the dotted line side, I'm gonna find the F line, line that up. We'll get a nice clean cut for these squares. Up there, one long cut. And then we can start cutting these down to the finished size they need to be. So it's nice if you know your letters, your ABCs, you can follow this ruler. It really made it easy. Since we're gonna need four, we'll go ahead and cut these off. Next, we need to draw lines, diagonal lines on the wrong side. And when possible, work with the lighter side. All right, so I love the Frixon pens. We can mark these. And then once we actually go to press these open, those lines will disappear. I have been known when I'm doing lots of these, my biggest quilt I ever did had 300 flying geese. I actually picked the quilt just so I could use this ruler as I lined them all up along my cutting board line and then with my long ruler laid across there and did a complete draw through all the squares at once. So the faster you can get it, the easier. Okay, we got four squares marked. We're gonna now lay them on our large two square. I'm gonna line them like this, corner to corner. These two we're gonna save for the second time we sew. Once you get going here, we're gonna stitch a quarter inch on the either side of the drawn lines. And this is what it's gonna look like. Once you're here, we're gonna go ahead and after you've done the sewing, and this is really easy because you just travel all the way down one after the other after the other, and then turn around at the end and sew all the way back. It's very mindless sewing, so and you know it's gonna be perfect. There's also no bias edges on this at all. So once you're done, you're gonna take it out and then cut along the middle of the line. Now here's what you're gonna end up with. It's kind of a heart. That shape is gonna look like that next. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press these open. You don't see any pink lines after I've pressed out that Frixon pen. The last one is we're gonna take our little hearts that we've kind of created. Take one of the squares that is left, put it right here, and once again, stitch on both sides, one quarter inch away from that edge. So it's gonna look like this. Once again, it looks like a whole flock of geese going through your sewing machine. Again, very easy to do. And then once you actually cut these open, that's where your blocks are done. 
Ta-da! And they're perfect. Oh my goodness. When you start putting these together or even trimming them up, you're going to notice that there will be very little trimming to do. And other than just maybe trimming off the extra nose from the triangles just to eliminate bulk, this is a wonderful ruler. There's a lot of other blocks and combinations uh, from half square triangles to uh, triple triangles. This is a ruler that you can adapt any quilt pattern to because it all works with those wonderful finished sizes.